Hey, how's it going guys? JT Red Eye here, back with another video of how to basically play Minecraft. So today I'm going to be focusing on farming, but not like too advanced of farming. So we're not getting into villager farming or anything. We're just getting into these, into these like type of farming. Uh, villager farming will be its own little thing when I talk about villagers and how useful they are. So first I want to start off by explaining. So this is, this is how you grow crops. So you get your water and you can mine, you can, uh, plow out to four blocks from each corner and it's still be completely hydrated. So this entire plot right here is the maximum amount you can be hydrated. That's still a square. You can go seven blocks in each direction, but it forms a diamond and not a square. So let's just get a time set day here. And so basically, uh, you have these four main things that you can plant in soil or tilled soil. Uh, these are special because this is a pumpkin and this is a watermelon. And they need to have four spaces around it that is unplanned for the watermelon stuff to actually extend onto. But here we have uh, beetroot, which can be found in villages. We have carrots, which can also be found in villages. Potatoes, which can be found in villages. Carrots and potatoes can also be found by killing zombies. And it's one of their drops, but it's pretty rare. Wheat can be found in villages or by punching grass like this. Like you go around, you go into a field, you punch a bunch, and you get wheat seeds. And they all look like these in my hot bars. So next thing is here we got the cocoa beans, which is used for cookies. And that's about it. So they're not really useful. And they're, they're used for dyes, but like brown dye. But here you just get the cocoa beans from it. And you have to plant them on jungle logs and they grow you find them in the jungle so now that we have this talked about we can talk about making auto farms which is using basic redstone like this is one of the easiest things to set up so you have your water in there to keep all these hydrated you can extend it out in seven directions so it can be it can be uh not for it would be 15 long with the water down the middle and it would all be hydrated and then up here, and you could have like a simple mechanism to, to click this. And also, every six block going lengthwise has to, has to drop down a level so the water will flow continuously all the way to the bottom. So you can collect all the wheat and, and seeds at the very bottom. It goes through and it breaks everything and pushes it to the bottom mostly. And you retract the water. And you put the dispensers in and it just does that. And you go through and you would collect all of these resources. And if you wanted to put hoppers down there, and then you just have to go through and replant any any crop you want. It doesn't have to be wheat, but this is like an easier redstone automatic farm where you don't have to go through and break it. You just have to plant it so it's a bit faster. And uh, that, yeah, this is about it for this. Or you can have a villager farm, which I will talk about later, like in a later video. So... There are also animal farms other than these. So the animal farms are, uh, you can farm uh, cows, sheep, pigs, chickens, and bunnies. Bunnies, obviously, they eat carrots. Chickens, they have to eat seeds. And these three animals eat, no, this eats carrots. These two eat wheat. And you breed them by giving them what they want, so... You go boom and then boom and they would breed and you get experience for it and they make a little cow. So they would give you wool. They give you steak and also milk if you right click them with a bucket. He just gives you pork chops. Oh, they also give you leather. These guys give you uh, eggs, feathers and chicken. This guy gives you rabbit hide, which is if you put it on uh, four of them in a row, you get leather and they also give you rabbit's foot if you if you slaughter them. But I really you don't really need to farm that at all unless you need jumping potions for some reason, which you really don't need. So next thing I want to talk about is this basic design. 
So you would click here and it would dispense water. Preferably not to them, but it doesn't really matter. So then you go up here and they'd be bobbing and you'd feed them like this. And then once once they've had enough, you go down here and you boom like that. And all of the baby cows will wander off to right there and go in there. And then you would go boom. And you would kill them with water. Oh, suck that back in. And then it would take the hopper there. And then since I did that for too long, it'd probably be better with uh, lever. And you would just quickly flick it. And then all the stuff would come into here. And I'm actually going to turn down my sounds. That was they're a bit too loud for me, these these animals. Here, not that. Uh, friendly creatures, off. There we go. So this is the basic design I just whipped up off the top of my head. And I structured it off of Mumbo Jumbo's design. But I didn't actually look at the video. I just did it off by memory. So basically, you have this, and only, uh, so a, cow's, a cow is one block tall, so they can slip into this chamber, and this has lava in it. This has water, so they bob, so they bob. This is a cedar cow. These are what these are called, because they just make baby cows to be put into here, so they grow up and die. And that's how that works, and then I have basic redstone feeding off to the the dispenser there and there and then i have my chest here and i just spruced it up with a bunch of colors and whatnot so you can do this with any animal so you can see some of the work back there it's nothing special i'm not truly good well truly that good at redstone like i have my moments where i can do redstone work just like i have my moments where i can make things look semi-decent but that's basically that. If you want a better, more refined version, you can look at Mumbo's Jumbo's Automatic Cow Farm, or any Automatic Cow Farm for that reason. This is not going to be a tutorial. I'm just saying this is how you can farm them. Okay. So now that we have that, see there's a melon here, and there's a pumpkin head there. And if you wear a pumpkin on your head, you can't be seen, or Endermen won't attack you if you look at them. So that's basically all they're really useful for. Except for making pumpkin pie, but... Nobody really needs that. So, this is basically all you need to know about farming, other than you can take a hoe and go like that and plow the land. Like, that's... Farming's pretty straightforward in Minecraft. That's when you get to, like, building these things that make it difficult. Then there's, like, one on there I saw where there's a chicken and it shoots eggs in there. And you can also, like, breed them and stuff. And you... Yeah, it's, it's insane what some people do to make automatic farms. You see me, I like this design. It's very basic and all you really need is steak. Or you can just have a giant pin and just have a bunch in there. So you don't really need anything fancy. That's just so you can be like, oh, I have something fancy. Oh, I almost forgot. Another thing is sugarcane. I forgot to put this in here when I was building this. So sugarcane, what it does is, let me just stomp this out, is you use that for paper, which is very important. And it can only be grown on dirt or sand. It grows faster on sand, I'm pretty sure. And you can only be placed beside water. And it just grows up to three, and then you mow it down, you get more. So that's basically most of what you need to know. And this is just another automatic wheat farm that's more compact. I have a basic clock here, and it just hooked up to a dispenser filled with bone mill. And you would take your... I forgot to take the torch. I take my torch, and... Here, let's take my redstone. You break it down, reset the clock, and you go like this, and you do that. So, it, it takes a second, and it loops like that. And then that's dispensing redstone in there. Or not redstone, bone mill. And you would go like this, and let's go to go to survival, and you would break that, and you'd plant it. You'd you'd break it, and you'd plant it instant. There we go. And you can just sit there, and it's like going between the right and left click, and it's pretty fast, so you don't really have to wait. But the problem is, is you need a bunch of bone meal, and that's the only problem. So this way, this one is personally my favorite. I just think it looks cool. 
Or you can just have a traditional one where you go through and punch it all. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, I hope you like this little short video explaining farming and little things you can do to make it easier. And what you can do to use it. Well, carrots are used for a night vision potion. Potatoes are just potatoes. Wheat is, you use it for basically a lot of things. So you're going to want wheat. Beets, you can eat them raw or make a soup out of them. It really, you have steak, so why would you make any of those? And steak is one of the most things for saturation when you eat anyway. So you really don't want to eat any of those. Cocoa beans are for uh, dyes. Melon, or yeah, melons are, can only be found in dungeons, the seed, along with no, pumpkins be, can be found in the overworld, but melons can only be in uh, the dungeons. And you make glycerin melons out of it. And sugar cane is for paper. And also speed potions for with sugar. So if you like this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content.